Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Yunjimaji. I am a lecturer from University Technical Malaysia Malacca. In this video, I am going to present my new product namely Biodur Packaging. For this content of this uh, teaching, uh, I will start with introduction and the problem statement and the solution that we provided. Continue with novelty and inventiveness, product testing, commercialization potential, the copyright and publication, and industrial collaboration. So as introduction, biopolymer is one of the green alternatives to substitute petroleum-based plastics. Among them, starch is one of the most promising uh, because starch it can act as a thermoplastic material where in the presence of plasticizer and heat, however, it has a lack of strength and rigidity. So, uh, the addition of fiber might improve uh, the mechanical and physical properties of the material. So, we come straight forward to the problem statement. Why this product is very important? Because, for decades, the use of the excessive use of the plastics has been a very major uh, environmental pollution issue. It's been uh, all over the world. So, the, this is because the non-biodegradable characteristics makes it stable in the environment for a very prolonged period of time. So, how long it stays in the environment? Let's see. So, estimated decomposition rate uh, for paper is okay. Uh, leaves, uh, orange peel is uh, considerable. For milk cartons, up to 5 years. For plastic bags, it takes 10 to 20 years. That's how long it stays. Uh, for aluminum can, up to 400 years. For plastic ring, up to 500 years. Plastic bottles, up to 500 years. Glass bottle, maybe forever. And styrofoam, maybe forever. So, it takes a very long time uh, to decompose. And, even after it decomposes, so what happened? Basically, uh, the study shows that the microplastics found in 90% of table salt. So, what happened to these plastics? After they decompose, they become microplastic. Our eyes cannot see it barely in the sea. But what happened? It can become a microplastic and we make a table salt. It will be some of it uh, will be in the table salt. So that's what happened now. And because uh, most of plastics contact with our body, as you can see, uh, so many uh, cancer cases rise day by day. So this might be one of the reason uh, why the health of our body is reducing uh, from day to day. So let's go directly to the durian, my uh, materials now. So as you can see, durian husk, everybody knows there is no commercial value and tons of it have been decomposed uh, annually. So because no commercial value uh, for this durian husk. So for our case, for our solution, we suggest that uh, we use the durian husk as a reinforcement to improve the strength of this now I said the cassava starch. It has uh, good properties but it has lack strength and lack rigidity. So we combine both of these and make a new product, novel product, uh, we, we call it Biodur uh, Packaging. So this is the example of our uh, product. In terms of novelty, uh, to the best of our knowledge, uh, there is no uh, work reported on using the enhance to import small plastic starch uh, for packaging application. We have run a search by using lens.org for pattern search and publication. And when we search for durian husk packaging, uh, there is uh, only eight uh, words, but there is no uh, work uh, reported on using durian husk uh, as uh, packaging. And even if we search for durian husk alone, uh, there is no uh, study reported on using uh, durian husk packaging. If you scroll down uh, for the 94, there is no work uh, reported on a similar application. So this uh, shows that this product is a uh, novel and uh, there's no reported uh, in previous work already. So we have done a product testing. Basically, uh, for this uh, product, when we use the durian husk, it can improve uh, the strength up to 1,300% uh, and for the rigidity up to 3,700 and 43% improve in the rigidity. That's a very high uh, improvement uh, when you use the durian husk. So, 
And then uh, if you can see the tensile strength value is up to 32.5 uh, megapascal, and then for the pedicular strength is up to 35 megapascal, which is comparable uh, to the strength of the conventional plastics uh, in the market. So in terms of uh, product testing also, we have checked the moisture content. So when we uh, moisture content is very important to make a stable uh, stable product. So we use the durian fiber. It can reduce the moisture content of the product. So it's good for the product for the stability. And then uh, it's also reduce the water and absorption of the product when you use the durian durian husk. So for environmental testing, this is the water solubility. This is a test to uh, show how many percent of this uh, product will dissolve in water. Let's say if we want to dispose it uh, in water. So basically the data shows that uh, it can dissolve up to 50% after only 24 hours of uh, dissolve in water. So as we improve, increase the fiber content, uh, the amount reduced because the fiber basically helps to uh, improve the rigidity of the material. That's why the solubility reduced. Uh, nevertheless, this is uh, still considered to be a good uh, environmental friendly material. And then uh, for biodegradation test, what we done, we do uh, four weeks uh, of burials of this product. And after four weeks, this is what happened. As you can see, uh, this product was eaten by the organism in the soil, which is very good and very environmental friendly. And as you can see here, after four weeks, it can degrade up to 70% uh, of uh, weight loss only after four weeks in the soil. So this is a proof that uh, shows that this uh, product is environmentally friendly proven. So for product application, so basically this is the potential application where we can use this uh, as a food packaging okay, and for food packaging and also you can use it uh, for the uh, utensil as well. So basically this product uh, has been tested in the entire environment and it meets the performance uh, expectation where it is uh, quite stable when it's uh, being stored uh, like this uh, without changing uh, in the dimension. So we can say that this product is uh, almost ready okay, for, the, uh, for the small market. In terms of uh, potential commercialization, uh, the market shows that there were only slightly less than 1% of total glo uh, global plastic production capacities for bio -based and biodegradable plastic needs. This is very, very uh, huge potential because very less market. So in 2020, the biodegradable plastic packaging market was valued at USD 4.65 billion. Okay? And then expected to reach a market value of 5.06 billion by 2025. This is a very high uh, potential uh, for this product huge market potential. So uh, this is the business canvas. Okay, we prepare a business canvas. So this is the authority, key partner, uh, mostly uh, Ministry of uh, Environment and Water and then uh, Malaysia Green Technology Corporation. So this is the non-NGO, uh, World WWF Malaysia, Greenpeace Malaysia and the potential companies is the plastic manufacturer like diapology plastic packaging, hub hand confectionery, and also for end product manufacturers, such as the product owner or specific producer by small medium industry. So basically, uh, the creativity for the authority is this one, keep to promote innovation, uh, continuous model, and sharing expertise, and also for regulatory aspect, and then for the NGO to create a green product awareness and collaboration. So what is the value proposition for this product? is uh, refining existing 
and potential offers okay, and uh, for bioplasty and this product is biodegradable and environmental friendly and also because it's a thermal plastics uh, category it is recyclable and of course the resource is always renewable unlike the petroleum based plastic where the petroleum is not uh, renewable it takes hundred or up to million years uh, for the petroleum to be uh, resurfaced again in the in the world so uh, in terms of customer relationship uh, for this authority it enhances the biopolymer technology and yet a novel product skin it improvised technical characteristics and then for the NGO uh, this product uh, suitable for early adopters for example a company which started uh, they just want to start their product they can use this product because this product is more sustainable uh, they can reduce the use of non-renewable resource however for the late adopters which means the company which already established but they need to change their product their packaging because they because of the regulatory complement compliance and then they need to make the product uh, their business future proof so that they will be able to cope with the future regulation so what are the customer segment okay the customer segment uh, is for food packaging uh, also, also we can cover food and beverage personal care household and retails so what are the value creation this is very important so uh, we can make this uh, as a raw material supplies to the manufacturers company uh, startup SME and also a brand so we can produce and sell the packaging through a distributor co-packers and partners or we can uh, sell it for direct purchase from small enterprise or even from individuals so that's for the business canvas so the clear this is a very clear market potential because uh, we know this product is a very high potential and then we have a very high a very clear the potential from raw material supply from produce and sell packaging or even for direct purchase okay so for the product cost we have made some calculation estimation so let's say uh, we can produce uh, 120 product per hour by using injection molding for rapid production and 8 hours per day and for 20 working days so estimated total production for one month is about 19,200 pieces so we have calculated the raw materials uh, cost for which is consists of starch, the plasticizer and the durian husk which is a waste so the estimated cost is about 1,572 ringgit, utilities, uh, workers, and the total cost for one month production for all of these is 4,572 ringgit. So in tax uh, count all of that, the cost for one pieces is around 24 cents only. So what is the estimated selling price? We estimate to sell this at around one at only one ringgit. Okay. So it's about uh, it's about 76 percent uh, profit margin. So it's very very huge uh, profit margin. So next, what we do, we try to go for the product survey to the potential user. For example, this is the packaging industry. Uh, we try to ask them what's the opinion for this product, and then uh, whether they're willing to buy this product or not. And they said yes, they are willing to buy this product. At what price? Surprisingly. They are willing to buy this product at 2 ringgit, which means that we can make a profit a margin of up to 176% profit margin. It's a very high profit margin for a company uh, to get. And then we also uh, go for food restaurant uh, for product survey. Uh, it shows the almost same uh, finding. Uh, they are also willing to buy this product uh, for the uh, company. And then uh, they willing to buy at two ringgit as well. So again, we can uh, make up to 176 percent profit margin. And then we also go to another uh, industry for restaurant industry. Then they also willing to buy at two ringgit. So again, this is a very uh, good potential for this product. Okay. So for publication, this is the publication uh, that we have uh, published uh, regarding the similar project. Uh, on this variable uh, materials.
So I also have uh, appeared uh, in newspaper in Sinar Harian uh, regarding the so-called plastic uh, Mesra Alam, uh, where I favored about the uh, the benefits of this uh, environmentally friendly plastics to our environment. In terms of product copyright, uh, our product has been uh, successfully registered with uh, my IPO. This is the evidence from the university and this is the evidence of that our product has been uh, protected uh, for the product copyrights with my IPO. So uh, this is the industrial collaboration uh, with uh, Vibes Distro and Marketing which is a food manufacturing industry. They already shows their interest for potential collaboration uh, on this project. And also uh, with uh, Microsoft Engineering, which is a composite specialist company, they also have uh, expressed their interest uh, regarding this project as well. So that's all for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.